so hi, this is Laura Carson, Chairman of the Public Health and Safety Committee, and this is our call to order the regular meeting today on um, January 18th at 8.30 p.m. So we took attendance, so we did that already. And so I guess we could um, start with the first item that we need to vote on. So that would be um, to consider and act upon item number five, to consider and act upon the following appointment to the Employees Retirement Board as recommended by the first elect woman, James B. Brown, 90 Russell Road, term November 2021 to 2026. Does someone make a motion to approve his nomination? I will, Cindy Parham. Is there a second? I'll, I'll second that. Okay, thanks, Veronica. Um, okay, is there any um, discussion? Other than we all think he's great. <laughs> I think he's a, glad he's stepping up, so that's my, my feeling. So um, if there's no discussion, all in favor, say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Any abstentions? Okay, motion passes unanimously. Um, that was easy. Next item is, um, well, we're not going to vote on Jeffrey Warren because he didn't show, he's not in attendance tonight, so we'll have to wait to see what he has to see next week, and then we'll just vote at the meeting. So then we're going to... Um, do item number seven to consider and act upon the following appointment to the Board of Assessment Appeals as recommended by the Chairman of the Board of Assessment Appeals in accordance with Section 8.1 of the Code of the Town of Fairfield. So we will not be voting on Catherine Gushin since she was not in attendance, but we'll vote on Judith Um uh, I think we have to make that. a motion to separate them. Well, She's not, we're not voting on her tonight. Yeah, but I think we, since it, the way it's written, we'll make a I think motion we have even to though she's not, We're not even doing I, I believe, Okay. I, I believe so. Okay. So, so I'll we'll make, make a motion, motion to separate them. I'll make a motion to separate them. Wait, who, who, um, okay, so who, who just said them, who was the second, who said it, who's seconding? I'll second well, I think it, Hank Anna. made the motion. Right, Hank made the motion, and who else said it? Uh, Hannah Gill will second it. Oh, okay, Hannah. Okay, so to separate. Okay. Um, okay, so all in favor, say aye. 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 Anyone? Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? Okay, motion passes to separate. <clears throat> Unanimous. Okay, thank you, Hank, for that. And now, uh, you're, um, you're welcome. We'll, yeah, thanks. We'll make a, um, a motion to approve the nomination of Zubis Layback to the Board of Assessment of Appeal. Uh, I'd like to make a motion. I'd like to make a motion. Okay, Veronica. And second? I'll second, Laura. I'll second, Laura. Who? Okay. All in favor? Say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Any abstention? Okay, nomination passes unanimously. Okay. Um so that's all our um items. Laura, we have to um we ha we have to um uh, vote on the minutes from the previous meeting. Oh, we don't. Or do we? Or do we? I guess I'll phrase that question. Is that we don't? We process? don't vote on our minutes. We do that at the next the real meeting. Right. Oh, you mean our own board of um, we public never, health and safety? We never minutes? voted on our right, Cindy. I I know we, we never, never did, but maybe we should have. I don't know. I don't know I, that time. I believe you're correct. What a clarification on my part. Um, okay, so I've never. Okay, so. Okay, let's make a motion to approve our minutes. Um, I'll make a motion to Cindy Parham. What, Cindy, you'll second? Oh, if, if no one's already made a motion, yeah, I'll... Well, I figured Jeff, 
Jeff, you want to make the motion that this is ideal? Oh, okay, okay. Thank I you. I wasn't sure if I my bias. I don't know if he should because he's secretary. <laughs> so I'll make a motion to approve, Cindy. Wait. Oh, okay, okay. Cindy makes the motion. I don't know. Anyone second? I'll second. Laura seconds the minutes. I was wondering, does favor? everyone see them, or does is everyone we see them, or do we just go online to see them? Go online to see them. I believe I distributed so, them. Didn't I not distribute them to everyone? It's been so long. Oh, uh, we I I saw them, but I think because I looked them up online. But is that something we should do in the future? That we should. Um, just send them to the whole committee. That would be a very good know. idea. Jeff? Yeah. Yep, that's fine. Going forward, I will. We could, I will, uh, we could do that. Okay. Do we need to make a motion on that? No. It's just that I guess we already okay. have a motion out there because mm -hmm. I saw them, so I'm okay with it. If you didn't see them, I guess okay. you could have stayed. I saw like. them. They were, I, I, I approve. I saw them. <laughs> So, all in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Any abstention? No, Hank has okay. to abstain. Okay, Hank's abstaining. I I'll actually abstain to Hannah Gale because I haven't seen them. Anyone else? No. Okay. Okay, so motion passes. Minutes are approved. Um, do we have anything else we want to discuss? Anyone have any comments, suggestions? I just, I, I guess, I, I'll formalize my question, Laura, to you, is just in the sense of, do we, do we as a committee want to set any objectives for the year as far as people we want to talk to or topics we want to engage on I mean I don't know about anybody else but I have a huge issue with crime in town and from a safety perspective I feel like enough is not being done to kind of there's a lot of online forums there's people complaining there's articles every day and I know our police are doing what they can but I really think right uh, remember we had the we had that meeting last yeah. year right about but, the safety right but, from a state you feel it went on deaf ears? Yeah, I feel like it's falling on deaf ears. I mean, does anyone else agree? I mean, locking doors of cars is one thing, but, you know, honestly, we know how it goes. When people are desperate, first they're going to try for the car, right. they'll get with the car. And if right. they can't Death get the car, they're going to come to the house. So, you you, know, you, I, well, I, you know, it's, I think that the first select woman is, is planning on adding police, and there's cameras going up all over town so you know some of this is being addressed already and then on top of it you know this issue of these people rifling through unlocked cars this has been going on as long as i've lived in fairfield and it has not ever escalated to people going in the house these are like gangs of kids and this is all they do they go around and they rifle through people's cars if they leave them open and look for change it's not a big crisis Okay. Um, you think it's you think it's not a crisis? You I think, think that, that there are crises going up? on. I think that there think are crises going on with carjackings in a lot of other places in Fairfield, and I think People that is holding up farms. With no, you, no. you think that crime not escalated recently? I, I don't I don't see it as escalated. I think that if you haven't been aware of it for a long time, it's kind of surprising. But honestly, it, it's like you know. I mean, I've had my car gone through before by this. You know, it's been going on forever. There's been you know, there's like a gang of kids from Bridgeport. They steal bicycles and they go through cars, but they don't escalate. And thank God they don't escalate. So you know, I I. I'm not they did. It's a crime issue. I disagree. There was a um like a town hall with state senator Tony Wong recently addressing this issue about different things about crime 
I know uh, State Rep Jennifer Leeper and Christian McCarthy say he are they held a forum, and I think they're having a follow-up forum. But maybe I'm not sure if it's this week about crime and different things. So um, there are things being done to address the crime element, and so uh, maybe it's a question. I mean, we could. I saw if you want. I saw my- yeah. Would you like to? We could set up a meeting with the police I, again to talk about so, the. I, so I, can I say something? I think we should. We should do something because so, I think people expect and that maybe get a real handle on the statistics of how much the crime has gone up or not, or what the real what's really going on. If if it is something that's increased, I mean, we are living through a pandemic and people are more desperate and people different things. You know. Are, so many people are being impacted in emotional ways. I don't know if it's related to that, but we can set so, up a meeting. So do we want to do, like, the traffic division, set up something with them, or do we want to look at something, like, detective? No, more like, the, is criminal, there something the more criminal division. I don't know what that is. I would assume, well, like... Well, with, I was, I was involved the in that. With, we want to deal with I, carjacking, car theft. Is that, Cindy, you might know, right? I was thinking maybe the traffic division, but I guess um, the car theft would be anyone on patrol. So I guess we could start with the chief or deputy chief. Yeah, Yeah. I I think it would be best to uh, So if I could say something. So I was involved with the forum that got involved with the uh, Tony Wong and Jennifer Leapier. Um, I was involved. So that was District 10. Who's speaking? Yeah, and I was involved with that. Yeah, so right. I was involved with that. And as far as from what I understand from having a lot of police and fire and military background in my family, it comes from the top, meaning it comes from, you know, the state down. So if these motorcycle riders and the bike riders and the quads and all that sort of stuff, when the when they when they're told to stand down, the police are told to stand down. There's really not only so much that the police, as far as Fairfield can do, they're told to stand down. It comes from the top, it comes from the state, it comes from Lamont. Lamont. Wait, they're told to stand. down. Down in the face of someone doing a criminal act. Yeah, yeah. Not, why? Um, well, when they say they can't the account, take them, the police accountability law. Yeah, yeah. What? And I know that only from. I'm sorry, I can't. Being involved with my my fiance has been a trooper for 24 plus years at Troop G in Bridgeport, and so he's witness and they have 911 calls come in so when 911 calls come in they go right to directly to the state meaning the barracks if it, if it's in Connecticut up to I think it's Milford this is troop G so they're told from the governor to stand down meaning you can't chase them leave it alone so and this is what anything is going to get accomplished it comes from the top and then it comes down. When I'm sorry. Saying, I think so someone, I think I mentioned not, by accident that Veronica was speaking, but this is story, correct? It's story. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Story. Can wait. Just explain. So if someone's going and stealing someone's car, they're told to stand down. They're not allowed to go. Yeah. So That's well, it. no, stealing somebody's car is different. But you see those bike, you know, the quads, the motorcycles, those dirt bikes oh. that ride through town. Yeah. So uh, I'm not saying it starts with them. But if those people are, you know, they 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 ride through town, they realize nothing's going to happen, they become more brazen. So then they, hey, let's tell our friends, and it it kind of is like a it's a ripple effect. But it's also youth offenders, and they're getting a slap on the wrist and being sent right. Back out. So you can't do anything, right? Well, you could, but if they're just going to be back tomorrow with them. Well, then, then they get a slap on the wrist and they're told to go home. And then, you know, where they go from there is, you know, right. out of everybody's control. Yeah. But even in Bridgeport, this has been a this has been an issue. I've 
I've been told by people who are in the um, police, you know, industry, do not, if someone is stealing something from your car, do not, you know, try to shop them. Chances are they're all carrying. So that's dangerous right. to me. Right. I would never say that out loud outside of this forum, but it's it's scary to think that someone can walk in the driveway and even if the, even if a kid has a gun in his pocket. Yeah. And I'd love to know the number of incidents that have already been. Uh, you but know. so well, when I sat in on that forum and, um, for party. the town hall in in Southport with mm-hmm. um, the police and the you know Jennifer Leapier and <clears throat> all them, they all said that this is a ring that's been going on for some time, and it's. Um, you know, this isn't targeting just Southport or Fairfield. It's been going on mm-hmm. for a while, and it mm-hmm. starts with um, it starts with Westport or or New Haven. I think it starts with like New Haven, mm-hmm. and it goes all the way down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, Story, you did you you walked away from that forum not feeling like. You've learned a lot. Um, from it's it. just it's, it's a kind of helpless. like a statewide, and I I walked away with feeling like it's a statewide issue, mm-hmm. not necessarily Fairfield. Fairfield it's issue. It's an issue that's been going on for some time, uh-huh. and it's you know just kind of affecting everybody around us, all of the surrounding towns. It doesn't mean it's not a local issue if it's right. happening on a. On a right scale, you know, Regular. on a statewide scale, I mean, it's it's a local issue. It's what do we do about it here, and how do we? I mean, to me, but it's I don't think I don't I don't know power. if there's necessarily something that we could. I think there's things like locking your cars, <laughs> bring your keys in at night, not leaving pocketbooks, you know, in your car right. at night time. Right. Anything putting deter- putting lights people? with sensors in the front of your house. Right. Putting on your and alarm everybody has you cameras. Everybody has yeah. and cameras. Cameras. Cameras in the house. Like, I've added cameras to my house since a lot of this. Yeah. So, I mean. So, so but as far feel- as, like, a like what could we do, you know, in town? I think I feel like it's an education. Like we just said, like like. not putting keys in your car, you know, taking your pocketbooks out, not leaving anything invaluable, valuable in your car. And however that, I feel like people have gotten better, but not great. Yeah, but when people are desperate. Right. Desperate time calling it desperate measures or violent measures. Um. Do you feel um, we should ask them to be more proactive in educating the public about how, what they can do to protect themselves? So, so that was something little... that we brought up in the forum, that how can we yeah, ask we a lot... the public to be more uh-huh. responsible? And they said mm-hmm. we've put out, you know, there was something somebody brought up with, like, in uh, Darien, they put out, you know, the, um, you know, the uh, signs that flash, you know, yeah, I've seen them like when school's in, and they yeah. have, they put lock up your car, yeah, right, right, lock right. your car. Like, one or, to say like, or the sign that says click it or kick it, something. You know, right, right. they put up some signs in the middle of town. You know, protect yourself, take all your valuables. Like, should they, did they say they would be would they be inclined to do something like that? I feel like they that they said well, their response was that they have and they put out and I've seen it on like New Channel Twelve or the Patch. No, or, but so, no, but know, I think like something in town. Like I know a, a certain flashing, things. Yeah, like a flashing thing, like you know when they do for the holidays, like you know they're gonna they're gonna have crackdowns right. on um DUI or, you know, or a parade drink. is coming. Yeah, yeah. So you know, you know they could probably get that if we ask them. Yeah, if we ask them. But that's going to have to come from the police chief. So, um, uh, that, uh, so maybe I, I just uh, think I just think that I just think it's another group to say to them: people are worried that crime is escalating. You right, know, we are the what are we doing about it? Of the town. Right? Yeah, what are we doing leverage. about it? We all represent our neighborhoods. Like, I sure. also don't want to be like shushed by saying, "Oh yes, we know, we know, we know." 
like, okay, well, you know, exactly how can we help and, you know, can we help communicate with our own districts? Can we, What can we do? I just think it should be I just honestly, like I really, just worry. I worry I just, that, you know, something bigger is going to happen and we're all going to say, oh, it's I not going to it's and the I whole thing with, like, that when they come to the towns with, like, like, motorcycles, it's like they be- all become so much more brazen. Hey, look what I can get away with. Oh, I can get away with driving through town in un- yeah, so registered I said, so vehicles, why don't we put driving bumps like in. Oh, nobody will want speed bumps. Yeah, why don't we put speed bumps in? Might deter them for a month. If they deter them for the month, put them out for the month. If they don't come back, leave them out, you know, take them away. Maybe they won't come back, right? If you... Right. You know, like, what can we do to proactively try to seize that? I was like, why don't we put cops at the on and off ramps at every highway? So that if we know, you know, someone has stolen a car and someone calls in the number, you know, between certain, one hour and money. another hour, you, we have the police, right? The, the police are, where are they? Can they be in and around? Like, what can we do to proactively kind of be a deterrent versus just kind of. And did they, did they say they, did anyone address that at that forum? Story about as far as what maybe as far as saying is there anything you could do police just to be to proactively stop so yes so somebody asked is uh, yeah so somebody asked you know how can you guys be more active as far as like being have like be present present your presence alone yeah police presence. Right. So they their response was, yes, you know, we have police presence. You know, we only have so many people to patrol so many areas, and we're doing our best that we can, you know, be in all areas at all times. So I don't know if there's, like, a certain area that maybe we could say ah, it's hard because, like, how do you say certain, you know what I mean? Like, how do, what right. areas or- are hit, being hit the most? Well, it's like downtown Fairfield or the, the Post Road, but isn't there, is there any rhyme or reason of when they decide to do these drive No. Like, like the no, and they said right? it's, it, they say, they said, they said it was a ring starting from New Haven. They're, they're juveniles. Ring. They're kids. Uh-huh. A ring that starts from New Haven even, and goes even, all the and, way to New York. And, but, and, and Waterbury as well and Bridgeport. I mean, there's yeah, several yeah. gangs. And they rings. just, I think yeah. we're talking about like uh, this little area, but. From New Haven to New York. So they start, and it's a group of people, juveniles, and, and they said they send the, those kids No, they're out older there ones, and the they send the kids Because out. they know they right. can't. They're the older ones, start. too. Yeah. Oh. Right. So they're so, you know, I know gang related. from hearing from, from other, you know, state troopers, people in um, that work for the government in, in Connecticut, that it's, you know, unfortunately, Lamont kind of has a say on who is to do what and when they do what. And when they're told to stand down, when they have a group of quad riders driving through the center of a nice, peaceful town on, you know, 4 o'clock on a Sunday morning or Sunday afternoon, you know, mm-hmm. they, they can only do so much. Right, and they don't want to escalate and have, you know. I think what Tom um, said is you, perfect. Like, if we're going to have this yeah. forum again, like a Zoom meeting or even in-person meeting, if, if if time and space permits, then, like Hank said, we should contact um, Robert Calamaris, the chief. He might involve Keith Broderick, the deputy chief, who was promoted recently to that position. And maybe we could have someone from the traffic division also in attendance if he thinks it's appropriate just to, like, talk this out because we would be the voices of the RTM to try to get some answers and then maybe provide resources to the rest of the RTM or even, like, on their Fairfield PD Instagram page or something. I mean, if you follow the FPDCT, um, a lot of it is their promotions, what's going on, and maybe some of the resources that we think should be available can be put on that Instagram page as well for the future because many people are on Instagram. Right. But I still like that idea of... I uh, think statistically. Uh, how many how many incidents have we had in the past 12 months? And I think statistics the are good, but also so I was in, sitting in some other forum and so, they so, had... 
brought up, you know, how about getting, you know, nobody likes lawn signs, right? Even like during polling time. But how about if the town somehow put out like those, you know, some, some, some sort of like, so you don't have that those main like hubs of like when you go through by like the circle by donut in, you know, those lights flashing. But how about maybe people put some lawn signs out like lock your car doors or well or we you know, maybe we could ask maybe we could, we could suggest different things and see what they say. But best way to educate the people so that right. you know, that we try to reduce the crime. But so maybe um you know, we can email I could email them and asked him to, could we set up a meeting? We can go in person and just wear a mask if you want, whatever, whatever, whatever you're comfortable, and we can go meet them, and this way we can have a nice open discussion. Can I, can I, can say I actually something? think that we should say that we met, you know, Yeah, together, whatever you want to say. To say right. we did this, because right. people, I mean, this is the single biggest issue, I think, that outside of taxes right now, that people are kind of really upset about. Okay, so we who did Hannah, did you want to say something? I do, if you don't mind. So sure. um, Cindy, um, who was on the committee uh since, you know, two thousand sixteen, the same time I was, um, we used to get these yearly um invitations where we would go oh. to the combined uh it was like a it's a computer training facility that Fairfield shares with Milford Police, and we would we would go to this uh, facility and, and and be able to participate in these this computer simulation simulation um, technology that our two towns had collaborated on, and it was um, it was a you know kind of a the technology at that time and the way the um, the scenarios ran the computer simulations was kind of reacting to all of the uh you know the shooter situations that had happened mm, you know in the right. you know, where where there were the movie theaters and the so they the were cool, very extreme. the bank robberies yeah very yeah, realistic and so the, yeah so, so, we, so I, I guess I, because I, since i've been on been, i've been on the art and it's been covid they didn't do that but maybe Cindy, you can help here and help me or you two send in maybe an email to the to say that you've been a part of that. You'd like to redo that and they can invite us. Maybe. Well, I, I actually have I a question based on it because, like, when we did it, it was kind of the, the whole training was geared towards shooting anyone in the back that might possibly be a danger to society. But now we've been through this whole, like, you know, public awareness about the danger of, you know, of the, of you know, of, of, of what happens when there's, you know, people are too quick to shoot and all of that. And I'm just wondering right. where the training is now at this point. Like, has it changed? And, and are the computer simulations different? Well, like, they did have, on? they, they did send, they did passed last year the police accountability bill so i think that you know the chokeholds are out and they had to do some new training i think they require more training but we certainly can get an update on that what actually in reality is happening in, i would really town. appreciate that so i don't know how Cindy you want, feels, but that that is on my mind but that's, that's yeah it's, it's different it's from need. it's different from what we were talking about just getting the town but like safer and all, all that but it's still related and you know, right, exactly. right. So, what is the what? What do you think is the best way forward? We should send an email. We'd like an invitation, even just to to meet with them because we all have questions. Yes. Yeah, we could just say like our eight member um, public health and safety um, committee would and, like to uh, all attend some a forum with just a few people from like like as again Hank said the um, the chief possibly traffic deputy chief and i think there's someone that does crime on the mind from the federal police um every week on wicc so someone like that who's always educating the public might should be and, there and as well I'm, and i'm right and i'm sure hannah that chief Calamars could tell you the update on on um training for to prevent you know um excessive police force or you know i'm sure he can give you an update on what they're doing give us all thank you so 
So how do you um, feel about so, adding also? How do you feel about also adding information we can publicly disseminate to our districts about crime, crime statistics, and also action but items that, in terms of Veronica, what's being used for any, deterrence? Any question, any question you have, yeah. Valerie. That's but I think I in terms of like when we go to these meetings, I think I think sometimes them. when we go to these meetings, we get um, not pacified, but uh, you know, uh, I think we do. Yeah. We just get like yeah, we do. We get pacified right. with you know right. what we what they think. Oh, you're you just here from the RTM, and here's what you should hear and whatnot. But like, I want like comments, statistics, information. We can real... distribute, and we can put in right. in we can put in an article. We can. You know, we can send out to our districts. We can tell people, oh, yeah, I'm concerned right. too. And this, we went and talked to people. Yes, crime is up X percent. This is what's being done about it. This is what we think needs to be done in our district. Every district is unique in terms of, like, you know, what's happening there. Some are receiving more, um, you know, problems than others. We'll, we'll say mm-hmm. problems. But I think that um, – you know, instead of just hearing like, oh, that's great, you know, we're glad you came in today, bye-bye, I really would like something that we can actually distribute and we can actually communicate to people because they are concerned. And I'm so how, I don't know about so anyone else, you, I've been here 20, in town for 20-some-odd years. How would, you distribute, how would you distribute it to each district? Where would we get a mailing list? You know what I'm saying? Or we, who's paying No, that? I don't know. If you have a Facebook page, if you have, you could put it, you could, you well, know, yeah, send but out I, I feel like, but how you many, could but, you know, you have to communicate it to people in the, I don't yeah, but like I'm just to saying, know like, they, what exactly they are they do doing? Right, they should put out the information. Agreed. But if they want, right. if they're really, just giving us well, what it. we're doing. But if we press right. them and say, really, we need your help, you know, it's hard to, I mean, my, I don't know what district some of these people are in that are on my face. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you could try to yeah, put it out, but no, how many, I, I, not everyone's on Facebook. Agree. We just want to make reach the most amount of people. And but if, if you want grab, to like, in, next door and Facebook and the I know, I, and, right. the, and people but in town, people, everyone's concerned. Some people don't, right? Some people just don't. I just think it's the police. If they, if they had something that they wanted to get out to the town, what would they do? And I would say use the same logic and put it out there. I, you know, yeah, and also put it in like, Brenda's weekly newsletters. Like have three or four yes, points of Brenda communication. Brenda could put it in her own site. Right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, ten points of but communication. But we have every right to ask these questions. There's nothing. Yeah, I agree. So, agreed. It's just so, hard because that lets a little bit, you know, hard when you feel so like So then do you, you think have we should have um, get, Laura, do you, I'm sorry, do you think we should have all of our committee members just send you questions we would like answered? And then when you make the appointment, with the powers that be at the police department, that we'll these questions can be answered during the forum, so we're not asking them there and catching them off guard. Yep, that's a good question. Uh, what do you like? Whatever. Okay, we could all. Yeah, know, these are unless like maybe we can consolidate it to. But like sometimes you know, ten questions, something else. But then it leads to another point. question, or maybe something else comes yeah, up. That's fine. Yeah, I think it's a starting point for them, and they'll know guard. what our questions are. I think I don't we'll think be coming from left field if so we don't even awesome. tell them why we want to meet with them. But we're yeah, not, I we're agree. We're not here to play catch-up. We're not here to play gotcha or anything. I just We have real normal, valid questions that I just yeah, think, agreed. you know, something else might come up. So I just sort of feel like let them just meet with us and – just have like a, a so Laura. A what email dialogue. should we send them to? What Laura? What email should we send them to? Yours? Yeah, Laura R Carson K A R S O N at gmail dot com. Laura okay. R Carson gmail dot com. Right. It's it's a uh, bummer that we even have to like think about this, right? But yeah, well, I'm glad we're talking about right. it because our yeah. committee and sadly Thanks. it. Thank you, Jeff. It's very relevant right now. To our attention. But you know what? Yeah, and yeah. Public, health and, public Health and Safety Committee, we should be meeting with them. This yeah, be, I agree. You know, every year, at least every year, or if not, you know, because we represent the town in this capacity. And, I, and I'm sure they're fine with that. All right. All right so, um, Cindy, I'll, I'll reach out to you to see who I should actually contact, and you'll know. I think Jeff Thank was talking. So Jeff, did you have something to say? <laughs> I thought I heard Jeff. No, um, no, I was to say I have a I was gonna try to jump on a nine o'clock call, so if I'm I'm just okay, trying to Okay, Donovan. Okay, we just need a motion then. We just need a motion to adjourn. <laughs>
Someone I'll make a motion. I'll make it. <laughs> I'll okay, Veronica. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Someone second. Oh. Did someone second? Right. Hank will second. Yes. Thank yeah. you, Hank. All right, okay. thanks, guys. So Enjoy your night. All right. 905. Awesome. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you, Laura. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Bye-bye. Be good. Bye-bye. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Good night.